I'd like to tell you about our new T14 tapper. Now this machine is specifically purpose built just for tapping. The motor is specially designed for low RPM operation and as you can see it has a very uh, ergonomic handle to allow you to hold the tap very straight so your hand is, is in line with the, with the tap so it's easier to hold it in a straight direction. And then among the features of the machine, the special gearbox works in, a, in the tapping from the downforce on, on the gearbox. The downforce causes it to go in the clockwise direction at a slower RPM. And then when you pull up, it, it switches to reverse operation at a faster speed to remove your tap. And it has uh, comes standard with a depth stop for, for tapping blind holes. And it has uh, a swivel to correct any small misalignments you may have in the hole. And it has a, a very long handle for, for good leverage for resisting the torque forces. And uh, it comes with a universal tap chuck. This is a two jaw chuck, keeps the tap centered. It doesn't matter what size of the square. It will, it will hold the, the tap perfectly centered. And uh, I'll just show you how it works. All you do is just turn the, you just simply uh, turn the screw and it stays centered. And it will grip any size of square. You will put in, this is a, an M6 tap. And you just tighten it and you're good to go. And it can tap up to a maximum of, uh, we rate it at 14, M14 for steel and up to M16 for aluminum. The T14 Tamper is optional safety clutch is an excellent safety device to limit the maximum torque which can be transferred to the operator. When the torque reaches the preset maximum value, the safety clutch will slip, preventing excessive torque from being transferred to the operator's arms. Please note this is not a tapping clutch to prevent tap breakage. To install, use a suitable sized pin punch to drive out the roll pin and pull off the standard clutch assembly. Line up the holes and push on the safety clutch assembly. Then drive in the roll pin. The clutch is pre-adjusted at the factory to the correct value it is now ready to use. If the clutch has slipped many times, it will wear and need to be reset. Test the torque using a dial torque meter. Use an M14 wrench on the spindle to immobilize it and clamp the meter square into the two jaw chuck. The reading should be 320 to 350 kilogram centimeters. Just first loosen the set screw on the clutch knot with an M2 hex key.
Use an M14 wrench on the spindle. And an M46 wrench on the clutch nut. Tighten the clutch slightly, retest the torque, and tighten the knot incrementally until 320 to 350 kilogram centimeters is reached. Do not over tighten the knot. Then tighten the screw on the knot to lock the knot in place.